is the power wire. Of course, we're on the passenger side of this Tacoma and the power wire is here. And we also ran the signal wire that tells the module here, the system here that the key is on. Okay, so that goes down right here. It comes around and then we just ran it along that wiring harness to over that side. You can see the breaker over here. The wire comes around here, goes to the breaker. And we just used some sheet metal uh, self-tapping screws to put the breaker in and ran that wire down here and then up to the battery. So that's the positive factory aux beam wire for the ground and ran it from right here and then um, used one of these existing holes, reamed it out, cleaned off the metal on the outside so it's nice and shiny right there so it'd have good metal contact and then um, bolted that down nice and tight with a 10 millimeter bolt and a washer. Now as far as our signal wire, um, that comes off there. It runs in the same half inch wire loom right here with the main power cable, um, but it splits off right here. It tees out right here and we brought it down here. There is a small, I mean a rubber gasket uh, looking thing that several other wires are going through right there. And so we just ran it through there. Let's see if I can get the camera down there so you can see it a little better. And sorry, it's just not great, but you can see that's right where we pulled the wire through. We didn't pull the wire loom all the way through because that is rubber. Um, we just ran the wire loom up to it nice and tight and then taped it there so that that would kind of protect the wire. Now we're coming in the cab here on the driver's side and up underneath the dash here, right there where that red wire is coming through the firewall, that's where that all the other wires are coming through and that's where we just ran a little coat hanger through and then hooked our wire and pulled it through. Okay, and then we ran some wire loom around that, brought it up right here. This is the wire loom right here that it comes up to. And then the fuse that we used, this fifth one over. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven positions. Let me show you what I'm talking about. Okay, and here's our fuse tap. The fuse we used was this 10 amp and it's the fifth one over from the left side. So there's one, two, three, there's a blank, the empty one, and then the fifth one is key on. So that's not ignition on, that's key on, so first click. And so that's working well for us. And that's what it looks like right there. Now right here is the hole we used. You can see we wrapped this in wire loom, so that's gonna keep it from wire chafing right there. And brought it up around here and just kind of taped it along our other wire and then brought it up right through here and we'll be able to connect it right here. So the cable runs from up here. Uh, it's pretty tight right here. So we ran the cable over here and kind of along this and then the cable comes out right here, drops down behind there. And what Ron did is he just took a coat hanger, dropped it down from down there, brought it down here and See this bundle right here? That's what comes in from the engine compartment through the firewall right there. It's hard to see, but the cable is right above it right there that we pulled through the firewall. And so basically Ron just from the top of the dash dropped that coat hanger down. We taped on the cable to the coat hanger and then pulled it up like this and then pulled it up here. And then we just ran it up there, kind of through this thicker part and out right there. Okay, this is gonna work really well. All right, just for perspective, where we ran the cord up in this deeper channel up here in the roof, it's uh, nice and, so we're gonna kind of be piling all the slack up here. Comes down here, Ron's already got it connected. And as far as this goes, we drilled a hole right there. Now when you open and close it, we had to drill the hole big enough that the wire loom kind of moves in and out. So when you open and close it, it kind of moves back and forth there. And all right, and what that looks like in here is, yeah, okay. Yeah. All right, so we might need to do that a little bit differently, but we can always pull wire through. Um, so I think what we're gonna do is stuff the wire back up there and then get this mounted back up inside. I'll hold it for you. I suppose we need to go this way. And then these little hooks hook in first up there. 
And then once those are lined up, pop. Okay. There we go. Then we've got one screw in here, right? Yeah. Let me help you. Put Thanks, the camera man. in there. Shine the light in your face. Even better. Okay, this is getting out of control. But here we go. We're going to turn the key on. There we go. First test. Oh, there's lights. Let there be lights. Hold on. Hold on, hold on. So we hooked up one little light here. Okay. That's not it. <laughs> That's not it. Still not it. No, oh. that was it. That, why were we looking at that? Which one is that? That was horrible. The, one. the which? The very end one. The bottom right? The bottom right, yeah. Okay. So that's good to know. So this will be bottom right switch and this will be top left switch over yeah. here. All right, you ready? Mm -hmm. Are you staring at it? Yeah, right into it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, this is awesome. So this is this is what makes, this is the beauty of this thing. All you have to do is drill your holes, mount your light, run the wires to here, plug them in. You already have the switches. You already have, every, you want to run wires and or lights in the back. You just run the wire up here, plug it in. It's already switched inside your vehicle. <laughs> okay so ron got this blazer i think this is 22 inch led spot flood or spot fog rather that's a nice light bar just bolted it to the bumper ran the wire back here pretty straightforward and because this is so easy you just run the wire to it plug it in and you're ready to go and so we tentatively be put on a 10 amp fuse we're gonna see how many amps it's actually pulling. The box says 8.4 amps. I don't know if that's gonna focus or not, but right there it says 8.4 amps. Let's see how many amps it's really pulling according to our multimeter. <laughs> okay, so we got the amp meter. Uh, we're gonna set it on 60 amps. Uh, the light's on, we're gonna see how many amps it's pulling here. And it's saying 7.7 .7 amps, close to eight amps. So it's pretty close to what the box says. So that's good. Now we wouldn't have wanted to put it here on one of these five amp fuses because uh, it could melt the fuse, right? Or cause it to open. And so we'll put it on one of these 10 amps. That'll be just fine. Of course you could put it on one of the bigger ones if you needed to, but this will be just fine. And we're gonna take it out after dark, but it seems pretty bright. And hopefully this will make a good difference. The beam pattern it talks about, now these, this Blazer 22 inch from AutoZone, there's a spot fog and then there was a wide angle or wide beam. So there's this one does the yellow right here. The other one is kind of shaped more like this. So if you're looking at the ditches or looking at the side of the road more, looking for deer as you're going by, maybe that's a better one. 